Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with a second episode of the day, and I'm super excited to be bringing you this video, because we are going to be trying something that we haven't done before on the channel. So if you've been subbed to the channel for a couple of weeks, or maybe a little bit longer, you may have realised we have been doing a large variety of different troop challenges. Well, we are going to continue that here today. So if we actually go down into the army camps, you can see we have got 16 maxed out healers and one single bowler. And what we're basically going to be doing, we're going to be doing the one troop challenge. How far can one bowler go in the single player battlefield? So it is very simple, guys. There are going to be no spells. There are going to be no heroes. Now, we only have one bowler. How many of these maps can he destroy before he gets killed? Now, of course, once we've dropped the bowler down, we aren't going to be able to reuse him, guys. But if he doesn't die, we're going to go back and we're going to cook another bowler and we're going to gem him, of course, and then go and attack the next map. So we're basically going to attack as many maps as we can in order until the bowler dies. Now, we can use as many healers as we want. So it is literally just going to be down to this bowler. So just before we do get into the video guys, I'm giving away another 14,000 gems and the giveaway actually ends tomorrow night. Now if you want to enter this and have a chance to win 14,000 gems, $99.99, then all you need to do is leave a like on this episode right now to show some support to the channel. Subscribe to this channel guys to stay up to date with the giveaways and of course the winners and enter the free raffle link down below. Now if you are seeing this video in a couple of days time, there will be another competition so make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date. So now that we got that done, guys, we are about to go in for our first attack. We're going to be attacking the first goblin map using one bowler and 16 healers. This is going to be very awesome. Let's see how far we can go. So I'm going to take a guess. I reckon, I think we can destroy 13 maps using one single bowler and unlimited healers. So it is unlimited healers and one single bowler. How many maps do you think we are going to be able to destroy? Let me know down in that comment section, guys. Every single person, take a guess. If you get it right, you win a cookie chocolate of course so here we go guys first one coming up and we are about to take on the payback do we even need a healer inside of this raid there goes the bowler wow this new buffed bowler throws bowlers so damn quickly there so we've already taken out the cannon and of course we're not even going to need a healer inside of this one so we've basically just dropped down the bowler now as i said we're not going to get the bowler back but he hasn't died so it means what we're going to do basically We've got the first map, which has been triple starred. We're going to go into the dark barracks and we're just going to gem a bowler. Now we're going to continue to do this until the bowler actually dies. So let's go into the second map, back into the goblin forest. Are we going to be able to beat it? I think we won't even need a healer once again. So the bowler chucking the bowl straight away. It's even bouncing onto the town hall, guys. The archer tower goes down. He takes out the town hall. Already secured a two star in about three or four seconds time. There goes go goblin hut. And we've got the second map down in seconds literally seconds so we're gonna go back into the dark barracks gem ourselves another bowler and we are already on map number three so it is time to take out the goblin outpost is it gonna be able to defeat us hell no we've got a bowler have you not seen the new bowler guys so here we go what is that that's strange why is there like a little graveyard there so hold on we may require to uh, use a healer here unless he goes for the actual town hall is he gonna go for the town hall nope we don't need a healer guys so this is the third map where one bowler has destroyed it and it doesn't even require a healer so these guys definitely looked a little bit better than what they did previously last week before they were buffed by supercell but i still think that the bowler kind of sucks so the third map proved no problem whatsoever. So we're going to make our way onto the fourth one. Hold on a second, guys. We need to gem another bowler. So go back into the dark barracks. Get that gold out of the way. Gem another bowler. This is bowler number four. But technically, we haven't lost one yet, really. They just don't put them back inside of our army camp. So here we go, guys. Going on to the rocky fort. Let's see if we can use one bowler here. So we're going to test out one. And we're going to wait. We're going to be patient, but we've got the healers. We're ready to send in these healers just in case we need them. So he's taking out the first cannon. Where are you going to go? Why did you go around the rock? Why don't you just go straight for the... Uh, we're going to send in one healer, guys, because we don't want to chance it. I have a feeling there could be some little bombs inside of some of these bases very shortly. And if we don't send in a healer just to make sure that the bowler is going to survive, then we could lose the bowler early. Damn, check that out. That is Tekkers. Look at that skill by the bowler. The only troop in the game that can do that. And it is the bowler, of course. So he's going to be able to take out the goblin hearts in maybe one or two shots. It's going to be a two shot. He's going to take out the one on the left-hand side, and that is it. The Rocky Fort is about to fall, guys. Another triple star, and the bowler survives. Don't forget to let me know down in that comment section, guys, how many of these maps are the bowlers going to be able to destroy. Now, bear in mind, we're already 
on map number five. Now, you can change your mind. I'm going to stick with 13. I reckon we can destroy 13 of these. So, we're going to go onto the Goblin Gauntlet this time, guys. And the bowler is about to go deep inside this base. So, we're going to drop down the bowler. That cannon's going to drop pretty much quickly. Look at the little goblins. Yeah, run, boys. My bowler's coming. So, the bowler's going to drop a bowler on the goblin heart there, guys. The, uh, the goblins just legged it inside of the town hall, of course. This is where we could get dodgy here. We're going to drop down a hill. Oh, my God. I just realized... The bowlers die from spring traps. Guys, bowlers die from spring traps. We're going to have to be very careful how far we go inside of this. Because if the bowler hits a spring trap, it's game over. I mean, there's no way he's going to survive. Or should we just not count spring traps? No, we have to. We have to. So if the bowler hits a spring trap, then he's going to go flying. But there we go, guys. The, uh, the goblin gauntlet being destroyed. So once again, only a single bowler didn't die. And we're going to go back into the next map, guys. So this is going to be map number six. What is it going to be? We are going to go up against the Cannonball Run. I've got a feeling there's uh, three cannons inside of here. Three cannons. Yes, there is. There we go, guys. So we're going to drop down the ball. We're going to go in with a heal straight away. Because if we do meet any of those little bombs, if there's like a little cluster of them, then we could find ourselves in a little bit of trouble. So as long as we stay away from like little valleys or little paths that lead into the actual base, then we should be okay for spring traps. Why did that bowler go for the wall instead of targeting the goblin hut? Is that one going to hit the cannon? Yes, it hits the cannon. So we only need maybe... Oh, we're going to take it out anyway. It's not going to be a problem, guys. The town hall's over there in the center. I've got a feeling there's going to be little bombs around here. Are there going to be any that go off? Not yet, not just yet. The cannon's connecting from the other side of the map. But of course, it cannot do anything. You know what? Let's take out that cannon using a healer, guys. Go healer! Yeah, that didn't work. That did not work. So we've got two healers now on the bowler. The town hall's going down. This is map number six, I think. So we're closing in on map number 13. Bowler takes out the town hall. He's about to take out the little cannon. See you later, baby. See you later. He's taking out the goblin hut as well, guys, or whatever that is. What is that? Goblin hut? Yeah, goblin hut. Pretty much. It's the equivalent of the builder's hut, except the goblin hut version. So we've taken down the, uh, the cannonball run, I think that was. We're going to build another bowler. And we're going to go in with two more healers. No, three. We've used three. So there we go, guys. Going to go now. We just destroyed... What did we just take down? We just done the um, we done the cannonball run. So now we're onto two smoking barrels. There's two cannons inside of here, of course. Going to drop down a single bowler. He's going to do damage to the uh, the town hall there. We're going to drop down the healer because these, these cannons seem to be getting a little bit bigger, a little bit higher level. And the bowler could find himself in serious trouble. So he's going to be double shotting the uh, the goblin hut on the wall. Yeah, it's just so random when it hits the wall. But there we go. How is that not hitting the wall? How did how did the mechanics in this game work? I mean, look, it misses the goblin hut, hits the wall. Hits the town hall, misses the wall. What is going on? So now he's taking down that level one wall, guys. There we go. He's just taking it out. Going to take out the goblin hut in a double shot once again. Is he going to go for the cannon or is he going to take out the goblin hut? He's gone for the goblin hut on the right-hand side. The bowler proving way too good for this goblin map. So there we go. Two smoking barrels down and dusted. Perfect three-star in the bag. And we can now make our way onto map number eight. Here we go, guys. It is the gold rush. We all have a little bit of gold in our lives. How many defenses are going to be inside of this base? Oh, damn. I forgot the bowler. Tony forgot the bowler, guys. Hold on a second. I keep forgetting we have to actually go back and gem the bowler. It's so unfair how they take your troops away when they don't die. So we're going to go back into the gold rush, of course. This is map number eight. Closing in, as, as I said, on that map number 13. Now we're going to drop down the healer. See if we can keep this bowler alive. Bowler, bowler, bowler. So please remember, guys, to enter the giveaway. This is the final chance to enter this week's giveaway. There is a giveaway every single week on this channel, and it is always 14,000 gems. Now, once we surpass maybe five, 600,000 subscribers, and I start earning, you know, just a few more ads on the channel, and I start getting some more points, then I will start to do bigger giveaways. But for now, I can really only afford to give away $100 every single week, guys. So we're going to be taking out these, uh, these gold storages here. They're going to go down pretty quickly. There we go. Going to go onto the cannon now as well. Now, also, for anyone that doesn't know already, the channel does have a copyright strike on it from Supercell, so from the owners of COC, which means all of my episodes cannot be longer than 15 minutes in length. I know it absolutely sucks, guys. So if this episode does go over the 15-minute barrier, do not worry, there will be a part two coming out to see how long, how far that these bowlers can go inside of this single player impossible challenge. This is literally impossible to reach Sherbert Towers, but we're going to see anyway, guys. So the bowler going to take out that cannon there. We have already down and dusted map number eight, and I'm not going to lie. It's been pretty easy so far. I mean, we've only used one healer, and to be honest, we haven't even needed a lot. We, have, we haven't even needed one healer in a lot of the maps. So we're going to go on to the, the next one. I think it is going to be map number nine, guys. So we're going to take out the line. Let's see what's inside of this base. There is going to be a mortar. 
Let's just drop down another healer straight away. Gonna do splash damage towards that gold storage as well. And the mortar gonna fall in seconds. So the bowler's making his way around the left-hand side of the base. He's gonna do splash damage to the cannon this time. Jump straight over that second goblin up. That is awesome. Take out the cannon. Yeah! Whoa, wow, 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 wow. The bowler's looking good, guys. Bowler's looking good. Definitely attacking a lot quicker. He's also doing splash damage to the cannon on the other side. And I mean, look, guys. He's not even losing. I would say maybe a, a 50th of his health is going down before the, uh, the healer heals him back up to health, guys. But he's going to take out the town hall. And we will be back once he's cleared up the rest of the base. So he's taking out the gold storage now. The bowler is on fire. Well, not really, guys. He's kind of just looking... Well, I don't even know what that is. It looks like an angel's healing him. Kind of is an angel. So he's taking out the Goblin Hut, guys, and the only structure left inside of the base this time is one little purple ball. But it has no purple. Wow, that went down in a single shot. Wasn't expecting that. So there it is, guys. Another triple star. Base number nine. Goblin map number nine. Couldn't do anything against the bowler. One bowler. Hold on. Hold on. We need to go back, guys. We need to gem him. This is costing me so many gems, guys. Two gems ago. Definitely a lot of gems. Not many joking. Not too many. Not too many. So we're going to make our way on to now. We're going to take out the Rat Valley. So this is where it gets dodgy, guys. There is going to be some, uh, it looks like there could be some spring traps inside of this base. Now, if there is, we will find ourselves dead. I mean, there's no way to put it. I mean, the bowler, the great thing about the bowler is he does splash damage to the object behind. So if we can actually do splash damage to uh, some of the buildings and take out the walls, then maybe he won't walk through the valleys. Maybe he'll go through the walls. There we go, guys. That worked like a charm. Took out some of those walls there. So he's going to go down a little bit further. Law bombs are going to go off. Not going to take him out. Look at that. Look at that. He's an absolute beast. Wow, what a tank, guys. What an absolute tank. He's kind of like a mini golem, except nowhere near as good looking and nowhere near as strong. So the golem, basically, has got everything going for it. So he's taking out the town hall, guys. He's going to be able to destroy. Oh, I just accidentally dropped an extra healer there. Didn't mean to do that. But he's going to take out the Rat Valley. No problem whatsoever. Rat Valley about to go down, guys. And there we go. He's going to take out the final cannon. He's not going to require to go into that little valley there where we know there is about 10, maybe even 15 little bombs spaced out all over there, guys. Oh, why would you do it for? You could have just chucked it over the wall. Look at him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There was literally about seven little bombs gone off there in seconds. But there we go. The Rat Valley goes down, guys. Another triple star. Of course, the overall damage reaching 100%. Time to gem another one, guys. So we are going to gem the next boulder. And we're also going to go ahead and gem some more of these healers. So how many do we need? I'm going to go for, for seven healers. There we go, guys. So back up to max healers. And, of course, one single boulder. So we're going to go now. we just done the Rat Valley. So it's time to take down Brute Force. Okay, so this is where it could end, guys. What is the outcome going to be? This is map number 12, map number 11. So we're close. We're close. Now, I'm going to drop down two healers just to make sure that if there are any little bombs, big bombs, as I said, he doesn't get in too much trouble. Please don't be a spring trap. Please don't be a spring trap. Oh, oh yes, guys. All right, there's no spring traps inside of the space, it would seem. So it looks like we're going to triple star the brute force. So who's kind of regretting their guess at the start? How many maps did you guess? Are you correct? Are you going to get it wrong? Do you want to change your mind? Can you imagine the other uh, current record holder for this impossible single player challenge? Not for the other uh, one troop challenge, guys, but just for the uh, the challenge in general is actually the Hog Riders. The Hog Riders managed to take down 22 of these single player maps with only using Hog Riders, which is pretty impressive. But one bowler, all healers, have managed to do a great job so far, guys. I mean, they've taken out what 12 maps, a single bowler. So in reality, the bowler. Could be, uh, could be about to beat the uh, the Hog Riders. So he's going to take out the Goblin Hearts, guys. But I've got a feeling that we are approaching the 15-minute mark. So we are going to have to win this episode here. Don't worry. The part two is going to be absolutely awesome. So stay tuned to the channel. That will be out in a few hours' time. I absolutely love trying these new challenges out, guys. So don't forget to let me know down below any other videos, any other sort of content that you would love to see over the next couple of weeks. So we're going to allow the bowler to destroy the rest of this map. And then, of course, we will be back in a few hours' time to have part two, guys. So don't forget to leave a like down below if you have enjoyed this episode. Subscribe to the channel right now for COC and CR videos every single day. Hope you're having a great weekend so far, guys. Hope it's nice and sunny where you are because it was here earlier and now it's Hellstones. I will see you shortly, guys. Have a great weekend. Peace out.